I know we're on Hollywood Boulevard, uh, and I know we're in East Hollywood, but where are we going next? Well, why are we hiding behind a sign? What sign? This sign here, we're gonna go to Panini Umbra, which is homemade paninis. Oh, yeah. From scratch, espresso. Bake their own stuff. Cafe, baked goods. True I'm, Italiano. I'm gonna get it. Behind you. I kind of discovered this place. I was looking for a local coffee shop that really sort of imitates those of Italy, what Nikki and Ambra have created here. It's really nice because it really has that focus on the actual creation of the, of the cup of coffee or of the espresso. Boy, are we lucky. We're here with Ambra, who is the panini lady of Hollywood. This smells so good in here. Everything must be made from scratch. Tell me about it. Everything is made from scratch. We want our food to be the most authentic it can be. It has to taste like it tastes in Italy, or like it used to taste in Italy when grandma and grandpa used to make the food. So everything is from the bread, the dough is mixed here, we make everything handmade, and the result is the way it should Mamma be. mia! It is mamma mia, yes it is. The coffee smells amazing. So tell us about the coffee. The coffee is uh, a mix of different beans, darker roast, uh, lighter roast, and the beans combined together create, you know, perfectly like our Italian blend. So it's not American coffee, it's an Italian we coffee. We could not find a decent American espresso or Italian espresso sold in America, so we had to create one. So your husband is a true bean counter? He is. Absolutely. Now, in regard to Paninis. What is a panini? I've heard the word. I'm looking around. What's a panini? A panini is simply an Italian sandwich. Uh, Here in America, we more have a concept of panini of something that is a sandwich put in a press, in a grill. So we grill our paninis. We make them, we serve them hot. We cut them, put them on nice cutting boards. And all the ingredients that are inside that are all generally coming from Italy, they are important from Italy, when they are pressed with the heat, they all melt in together. Uh, this is a panino teca. And I understand that you have a wonderful nine-year-old daughter who loves paninis. She loves paninis and she loves also the pizza that we make here. Uh, it's a taglio. And we gave her name to our espresso blend, which is Gaia. So you know what I think we should do? We should go back into the kitchen and we should have Ralph learn how to make a panini and then we should come out and try it. What do you Absolutely. think about that? Well, let's do it. I have the absolute pleasure of being in the kitchen with Ambra. And Ambra, what are you doing? Well, I am about to give the mother dough to my mixer. But what is a mother dough? What the is that? The mother dough is the mother of our dough. This is the dough that has the DNA to keep the consistency of quality of our dough. So okay, every so you... time we mix, yes. when we get the final dough, yes. we keep some of it. So, so this is from the last time That's you That's from the last time. How many generations back do we go? We go back uh, to nine years. Generation. Oh, for gosh sakes. So this dough has uh, the gene of uh, our dough and this uh, is the consistency of our product. It's like a DNA project. Yes. Well, that's fantastic. So now what are you going to do with that? I'm going to put it in the mixer. So and, we yeah. pass the gene to our new batch of dough. That's wonderful. Oh, this, the aroma here is heavenly. What, what is this? This is spec. This is the Ferrari of the prosciutto, the smoked prosciutto. This comes from the Italian Alps, from the region of uh, Alpargia. It's yes. just luscious. But you see how we cut it thin. Yes. So when you eat it, it almost melts in your mouth. You can see the light through that. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. So what are we going to do with that? We're going to make a panino. It is called, in Italy, it's called Tirolese. What, now, what are you cutting now? Tirolese is the Tyrolean Mountains. Okay. Put some brie. Okay. This is Italian brie? This is French brie. Well, it's very close. Yeah, because it's the by the mountains, so, you know, we have a lot of influence with the cheeses. We put the spec. So, how you see how I build the panini, I put the cheese first, yes. I put my meat. 
And I see how you're it's folding thin. it so it's going cross. Yeah, because it's thin, so I want to put some consistency. Mm -hmm. Then I make some homemade olive pate, we call it in Italy. You made this yourself? Paste. Yes. Are there any secrets so, in there? Amount of olive pate. Yeah, on that, top. that looks generous, but just, just right. You want to put it on top of the panini okay. because when you put in the grill and all the flavors will go together when you bite on it, okay. your palate, which is on the top, yes. will taste the flavor. Explosive. So it will, all the ingredients will explode in your mouth. Yes, yes. Okay. Umber, I have a question. What are you going to do with that? I'm going to give it to you. Oh, you are, <laughs> you are a sweetheart. Thank you. Mm. Umbria, what am I looking at? What is this? This is uh, an original oven from 1962, of which there are only two in the old Los Angeles County. One is here and one is in San Pedro. This oven, they don't even build anymore. No. They make amazing bread and amazing pizzas by the pan. It's a revolving oven yes. and uh, it fits eight sheets of bread or pans of pizza at a time. What temperature? It goes to 750 degrees temperature. And that's what, you, that's what you want? And that's what we want. And that's what makes the product unique. Well, this is a marvel. This is fantastic. I'll, I'll bet this turns out amazingly wonderful bread. It does. This is fantastic. Here I have uh, prosciutto crudo, and here we have parma ham, and I had a hand in this, so I'm gonna take a bite of the ham first. Let's try this. Mm. I've got the wonderful salami and provolone cheese with virgin olive oil. Then you get the tomato and the greens hitting into it. It's sort of like being on a silk satin sheet with a great smile on your face. Unbelievable. Do you have any idea how delicious the panini is? This, the, 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 the home baked panini and the delicacy of the ham. It's, I'm in heaven, I'm in heaven. Look at this. Mm. And there I have the virgin of the night, which is virgin olive oil, the greens. Little, beautiful, soft tomatoes that squirt right into the virgin olive oil. And then the green just covers it up. It is like being on a magic card. Now I'm gonna take a bite of the prosciutto. Mm. I'll tell you what, the ingredients are wonderful. It's fantastic. Flavors are explosive. But the panini makes the sandwich. It is so wonderfully good. Gotta try this house blended coffee. Mm. 